get our viewers some breaking news coming in. Prime Minister Modi. Prime Minister Modi is with the Japanese delegation. Uh, the Prime Minister is in Tokyo. About 36 hours of the meeting in uh, 36 hours that he is going to be in Japan. Very, very crucial visit. So these are the visuals from the spot. Here, of course, the focus is going to be on the Quad meeting. And uh, there are a few factors, which is why the entire world is going to be watching the developments happening in Japan. Global power play by India. Uh, in fact, in, to tell you what is the focus here, one of the main focuses remain on the economy working towards the strengthening of the Pacific region. Not just that, the diplomacy as far as the Quad is concerned. I remember a very, very serious statement that has come in from Joe Biden as well. He said that uh, any takeover of Taiwan would be met militarily. So very, very important statement being made. So this meeting is also coming amid the Chinese aggression. So bilateral meetings also expected to take place. A meeting with the U.S. President uh, Joe Biden that's expected in the coming hours. Uh, not just that, of course, as Prime Minister Modi had arrived in Japan, uh, very similar to his visits in the other countries, he was accorded a very, very grand welcome by the Indian diaspora. Uh, but after that welcome, now, of course, uh, focus shifts to the meetings that he has. And later in the day, he, he will also be meeting the Indian diaspora. In fact, uh, Madhav is uh, with us from Tokyo and uh, taking a look at what's happening there. Madhav, uh, of course, we've been bringing the reactions from the Indian diaspora, but now the entire focus has shifted to the meetings. Very, very crucial for the messaging that's going out. Well, yes, uh, and of course, we have seen the community members, the diaspora members of the Indian community here come out in large numbers. We'll just pan the camera and show you how the hall has very quickly been filling up over the past uh, few minutes. And in about less than an hour from now, the Prime Minister will be addressing all those who are gathered here. So one very important aspect, of course, is the expectations of the Indian community. What exactly? Are they looking for? Let's talk to some of the Indians who have come over here. What is the expectation from this visit of the Prime Minister? It's his third visit to Japan during his tenure as PM. Uh, what really are, is the reason for this huge crowd that we see over here? The huge crowd is here because once Modi was elected, there's a lot of respect to the NRI's Indians and they love his visit here every time when he comes. Okay. And he is like a positive Attitude, yes. Attitude. So, yeah. Okay. And plus, also, he, uh, uh, we think that India and Japan relationship have improved tremendously okay. since he's become the Prime Minister. How? How so? And, uh, because of the bullet train. And we hope this time also he works towards something more for the India. For India. Okay. For me, India is prime. Okay. So I want India to improve. Poverty should go. Everybody should live like how the Japanese live, how the rest of the world, the Western world. Right. Like not, don't forget the Indian culture, of course. Okay. But the other aspect is you know, poverty and all. For me, poverty okay. is main. That okay. should Very go. important. Let's get another perspective of what really is the expectation over here. What are your expectations from this visit? And what do you hope that the Prime Minister will talk about what you want to do? As I said, मोदी साहब को मिलने की आ रहे हैं भी जापान पे भी कोई इंडियन का कुछ बोल कर जाओ अच्छी खबर देकर जाओ भी हम इंडियन वाले ओके खबर करें है ना सब कुछ मोदी साहब का बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद करते हैं भी अच्छी खबर देकर जाए इधर मोदी ओके तो लॉट ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशंस हो गया लार्ज नंबर ऑफ द डायस्पोरा मेंबर्स हुआ गैदर्ड हो गया लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर विजिट एंड मेनी ऑफ टॉक्ड are looking for jobs could actually find a space here. Let's speak to some of the people gathered here. Uh, India and Japan, natural partners in many ways, people feel that there could be a lot more scope for Indians, particularly here in Japan, uh, amongst the people I've been speaking to. Do you believe that? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, I think there is a lot of opportunity also, as we have mentioned, right? And uh, Japanese also community is also looking at towards the collaboration with India, and it will be get more and more enhanced, uh, uh, well, the strength as well. And it's a good footsteps also of uh, Prime Minister Modi's visit over here. Okay, what, what, what really is the main uh, or the most important part of it? Is it sending out a message to China when the Prime Minister comes over here, holds the Quad Summit? Do you think there's a clear message being sent to China? Apparently, it is something like that. I mean, I should not uh, mention in that way. But, well, uh, there is a I mean, lot of I mean, uh, hopes and, for, of course, the opportunity also. Yes. But, I mean, people have uh, some sort of hopes and some sort of opportunity also. Let's hope for the best okay. to make the best of it. Okay. So, there you see a lot of hopes uh, in terms of what really will be part of this particular visit. A very important, uh, in, fa in fact, announcement as far as the regional economic uh, cooperation program is concerned, the Indo-Pacific economic uh, cooperation. What is the impact that that will have? What is the impact that, you know, today's announcement? I don't know if you've heard that there's an uh, Indo-Pacific economic partnership that has been announced, the Quad countries and several other South Asian countries, Southeast Asian countries are part of that. Do you think all of this is going to send a clear message to China? I think so, because uh, just uh, I think a day or two back, even Zelensky, the Ukraine president, before he was not talking about uh, negotiation, could solve the problem. Now, what Modi has been, or Prime Minister Modi has been speaking for a long time, he has come to that point that now the negotiation should be done. Okay. So I think it should That's affect... a sign of how uh, India has arrived in terms of now India's perspective. And also they are, uh, know that what we have been reiterating from the beginning, it has some meaning and it's going to... Let's go in that direction. They feel that way. Okay, okay. And the reason for this kind of huge uh, turnout at uh, events like this, what, what what is the main thought process in the minds of all of those NRIs who are gathered? I over think here? what uh, our PM Modi has done for the country, I mean, we will be here come from 600 kilometers far from Kobe, Osaka. But we will, what this is a little bit we can do for our Prime Minister by coming here. Well, we have really high respect and uh, the changes we are seeing in our motherland, I think. Okay. Uh, what, are, what are the changes that, that you, you uh, would personally rate as the biggest? So, uh, one thing I think main is uh, our drawback has always been a disunity. Okay. If you see the, our history and the rule, British rule and all that, and now we are getting more and more united and understanding the problems which are not even exposed. Okay. Like I have been a two-year college student in India, 11 years as and all that. I never knew that. Uh, Indian can never buy a property in Kashmir. Okay. They never talk in civics and talk in any, any subject. So this is all we, so many things, you know. So I think we are moving in the right direction now. All right, all right. So a lot of expectations, a lot of expectations over here. A lot uh, that, uh, you know, one thing that a lot of the NRIs say is that there is definitely a perceptible shift in how Indians are perceived abroad. And that really is one of the reasons that uh, uh, draws them to events such as this and brings them to events such as this time and again. And that's really the kind of uh, uh, turnout that we've been seeing over here, but all eyes on what the Prime Minister will be saying over here in just about another hour or so. The excitement is palpable. We're seeing a lot of people who have gathered their mother. Uh, if I can just request you to show us the venue a little bit as well, the kind of crowd that's expected and, uh, you know, what's on the itinerary of Prime Minister Modi for the rest of the day. Well, absolutely. In fact, you can see the layout of this entire hall. This is the Imperial Hotel here in uh, Tokyo, very much uh, the heart of town, really, that this event has uh, been organized in. And uh, as we've been coming in, the entire, the massive lobby of this hotel itself has been chock a block with people, some of whom perhaps don't even have passes to actually enter the event, but just want to come here and get a glimpse of uh, Prime Minister Modi. That's the kind of crowd and turnout that we are looking at. There are many waiting in line even as we speak to enter this particular event venue. And uh, of course, uh, large numbers of people who are gathered over here. Let's just quickly get in a word from some of the people uh, who are gathered over here. What are expectations you have? What is the idea? I am from Maharashtra, so this is our fetal. And this is a very special occasion. So this is a very special occasion today. So this is a special occasion for our festival. That's why we all have been here. Why are you here? Modi Ji is coming from Japan. We feel like we are from India. We feel like we are 
बहुत हैप्पी है सो इट्स लाइक अ फेस्टिवल फॉर देम बिकॉज़ दे फील द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज कमिंग इट्स अ ग्रेट डे द सेलिब्रेटिंग एज अ फेस्टिवल आप भी इसे फेस्टिवल के रूप में सेलिब्रेट बिल्कुल ये हमारे लिए तो एक देव दिवाली है हमारे देव दिवाली के दिन आ रहे हैं तो हमारे लिए आज का दिन देव दिवाली है ओके ओके तो आपके लिए भी दिवाली से कम नहीं है ये बिल्कुल जी बिल्कुल दिवाली होली सब आज ही मना रहे हैं हम तो अच्छा <laughs> <laughs> और आप बताइए आप कहां से आए हैं कितने दूर से आए हैं इस इवेंट को अटेंड मैं महाराष्ट्र से हूं औरंगाबाद से मैं यहां पे 10 साल से काम करता हूं और हम लोग बहुत खुश हैं मोदी जी का स्वागत करने के लिए और मोदी जी का टुकियो में बहुत बहुत स्वागत है जी आप भी मोदी जी को पहले भी देखा आपने कि फर्स्ट टाइम इस तरह के इवेंट पे आ रहे हैं यस इफ दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम सीइंग हिम इन पर्सन एंड इन फ्लैश अगेन व्हाट ड्रॉज यू टू दिस इवेंट Uh, I think it's his uh, image, his personality, and the way he conducts himself. Or and Modi ji is yeah. too big, you know. Big. You can't avoid. And he's the best ex- Everyone export to for, for our Indian, Indian culture. Modi, 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 Har Har Mahadev, Har Har Mahadev, Har Har. The, my, my question is this: that in terms of uh, you know being in Japan, how long have you been here, and how long have you seen the you know the relationship of India and Japan? Has there been a perceptible change in the last? I have year? been here for last twelve years, okay. and before Modi ji and after Modi ji also. So yes, there is a change. Now today, how is the change? How is the change? Today, when you talk about, I'm an Indian. The first thing you talk about, you are a mathematician, and you are a computer engineer. So you are master in computer. Right. And you see today, not only in computer software, but hardware part also there are so. many manufacturing industries coming in india so india is strong in software japan is strong in hardware and if you combine together you will have a very great team and that's what i think modi ji is doing okay a lot of infrastructure now 5g i heard that uh, coming in india test lab so it is really a good thing okay. what he is bringing so okay. we think that some day we'll go back to india and we'll have something like japan in india right so uh, also in terms of cooperation the two countries uh, where you know india of course a lot of young indians who aspire to go abroad work you know uh, need jobs and over here you have a country which actually needs a lot of labor so do you think that the, the two countries in that way also have a lot of potential yeah definitely if you if okay. you see the history for, all right uh, mother very very interesting voices that you've got for us of course in a short while from now prime minister Modi will also be reaching there. Any interaction with the diaspora is more like a concert uh, with the kind of preparations that have gone in place. Uh, we'll track these developments and cut live to those visuals as well. For now, slipping into a short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.